Okay, so I know it's been a while since I got a video out. I think the last video was actually um, uh, giving everybody an overview of the garage that I built uh, two years ago, I guess that will be. So um, really haven't been doing too many little projects, I guess. It's little stuff, but I just never seem to think about getting the video camera out and recording them so but uh let me show you the latest addition to the garage uh that i have and um give you a little explanation All right, so I managed to score an awesome deal on this uh, Mohawk two-post lift, and um, it's got some wear, you know, but um, but for my purposes, it's um, certainly more than adequate. Uh, I did a, I freshened it up quite a bit. Um, I took it apart, uh, inspected everything, cleaned things up. I contacted Mohawk and I got some uh, a couple of parts that I needed here and there, um, and um, I even got some stickers to make it uh, look pretty. So um, now what I did do is I took pictures. I didn't videotape uh, the whole process of me receiving it and tearing it down and cleaning it and rebuilding it. Um, but I did take some pictures along the way. Uh, I got to tell you, each of these columns here, uh, even stripped down, uh, are still pretty heavy. Um, so uh, I think, according to Mohawk, each column assembled is about 1,200 pounds. So, um, and um, I did this all myself uh, with the help of my Kubota out obviously and um, so uh, before I show you the uh, pictures uh, or the slideshow I guess I'll do um, I'll just sh show you some of the uh, layout considerations that I had to uh, contend with so 
All right, so one of the first considerations I had to make, which uh, was pretty much uh, uh, pretty self-evident, is to do I put the lift in this bay or this other bay? And, um, well, the problem with having it in that bay poses two things, is that uh, the extra room on the other side of that spot, now you'd have a column kind of in the middle of everything. And um, so that really I didn't care for. And then this one here is, well, this makes it pretty much a no-brainer, is my driveway goes straight down out the back here. So, um, and the orientation of the lift front to back was another consideration that um, I wanted to be able to use this as an everyday parking spot for my truck. So, if I just went ahead and slap the post right in the middle, then getting in and out of the truck every day would kind of get real, uh, real tiresome quickly. So I had to offset the posts to favor the back of the garage from where we we're standing. And um, it was generally I back the truck into the garage when I park every day anyway. So by doing that, it pushes the lift back further to give me plenty of clearance uh, to get in and out of the front uh, uh, seats. So, you know, I back in, I got plenty of room, I could open up the front door and I could get in and out. Uh, the, only, the only thing I have to worry about is stepping over the arm, which is not a big deal. Um, as long as the door opens without hitting the, um, without hitting these here, uh, pieces here so 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 that was that and according to Mohawk they give you a general guideline into the placement and uh, you know ideally they want uh, you know two feet of clearance and then an additional three feet for like a workbench and you know just the garage isn't deep enough I mean uh, it's no matter how big you build something it, it turns out that it's never big enough so um, so I like to keep this area behind us here free and I'll f I'll flip you around and I'll show you that in a second yeah so back here I I have room when I park the truck I could fold the tailgate down I can get some small packages out of the back uh, without a problem. So I can walk completely around the truck when it's parked and open up both front doors. And that was, um, and that was one of the uh, important uh, considerations that I had to make. Um, so when I use the lift uh, to pick up either the pickup truck or my wife's car or, or if I'm doing a job for somebody, uh, I'll pull the vehicle in, nose it in, and that still leaves me plenty of room um, to, to work. And that seems to be the best, uh, I guess, compromise or configuration for the lift. So, um, so that was the placement. And then um, obviously the other thing was over here. Let me swing you around, see if we can see you. Um, yeah, so that's getting awfully close to that drain which was another thing um, I kind of had to work around. Um, but uh, the floor is six inches thick of 4,000 PSI concrete. And um, I got some pictures of the anchors that I purchased directly from Mohawk. Uh, they're called Wedget. Um, I spent a little bit more to get those, but I figured if Mohawk determines that those are the best ones to use, then uh, now, who might argue with them? So, uh, so, and I did have to shim it up a little bit to get everything plumb and level, and um, so, uh, so everything worked out really good with the install. Uh, this is a 9,000 pound capacity lift. Uh, like I said before, there's a little bit of wear. I have all the, I have two sets of, of spaces, um, the high ones and the low ones. 
believe maybe two inches in four inches or something like that um, and um, yes yeah, so that's it uh, all right another thing to uh, point out is I had a I had to run a uh, uh, a 20 amp 220 circuit for that um, that was no big deal just some half inch EMT conduit and uh, ran that into my sub panel and uh, that was pretty straightforward um, other things that uh, the hydraulic fluid that this uses is ATF uh, Dexron 3 I guess uh, so I filled that up, I flushed the system, bled everything, and um, so that's all fresh fluid in there. Uh, another thing here that uh, might be worth pointing out is the garage door. And um, as you could see, the garage door right now is fully open. Um, so that poses a little bit of a... Um, Thing to be mindful of is that when I have a vehicle up on the lift, I can't, I cannot have the garage door fully open. So I gotta, uh, I gotta be careful with that. Um, and uh, so it, it's, um, if I would have got a taller door, I guess it would have gave me a little bit more height, but then it also would have came back further too. So, uh, you know, this is a nine by nine foot door uh, and um, haven't had any issues, works fine. Um, but like I said, just something to be mindful of. Got to be careful, you can't open the door fully when the vehicle is up on the lift and vice versa, you can't raise the lift with the door fully open. So, uh, not a big deal breaker, so. All right, so as you can see, I uh, got plenty of room and uh, so I just wanted to point out one thing here, and uh, this is just a little consideration that I have to take into account. Um, I can't have the garage door fully open when the car is up on the lift, as you could see. So plenty of ceiling height, even with the hood open. Um, if you could bring that in there. So, and uh, I don't know how good that is to see there so all right so as you can see this is how I normally uh, park the truck uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and as you can see there's plenty of room here uh, to get in and out on both sides and uh, there's plenty of room I can walk around the front and around the back as well which you probably won't be able to see too well here